This CoreCon video is going to cover two of the features found in CoreCon scheduling module, namely the general to-dos and project to-dos. To find this, go to projects, select a project, and under project management and field staff, go to scheduling. This video is covering the information in this section. To-dos can be assigned to internal users, such as your employees, and may be general in nature, or they can be project specific. There are three hard-coded priority options, low, medium, and high. If priority is not specified, then medium will be the default. To-dos will appear as an alert on the home view and the scheduling module calendars. Special Kanban views are available showing to-dos by category with color-coded options for priority. Remember before you begin to go to the global settings under feature settings and then scheduling and customize the list of categories by user defined types. First, let's add a general to-do. To do this, we'll go over to actions and select add general to-do. We'll select this as a low priority and we'll categorize this We'll assign it to a employee and give it a due date. We can also track the status as percentage complete, and we can also add a status from the list and a status date. And we'll click add and close. The difference between the general to do's and the project to do's is that the general to do's do not designate or not tagged to a project. Those can also be accessed from the alerts option at the top. It looks like a bell icon and you'll also see general to do's there. And back to scheduling. The next we'll add manually a project to do. So we'll go back to actions and add project to do. Again, assigning a priority. And this is the list of categories we mentioned earlier that you can customize in your global settings. We'll assign it to a employee. We'll give it a due date. We could also track the percentage complete, the status, and give it a status date. And we'll click add and close. You can also import project to-do lists from a Microsoft Excel template. To find these, go to the knowledge base, to getting started, to CoreCon import options from Microsoft Excel. If you go down to scheduling, one of the two knowledge base articles is on project to do's. This article has information and reminders how to import the template once it's complete. It also has the database fields, which will appear as column headings on the sample template. And let's open that template. This is a sample and it's completely functional, but there'll be a couple things that you'll need to customize. The project number has to be specific the author and the tasks assigned to need to be specific and note that these are your internal employees and the task category which is, which is set up in global settings needs to match exactly as well as the task status which is provided in the to do itself. We'll give these a status date And I'm going to change the format of that to a short date. And the percentages are entered as whole numbers. Once it's all ready, just click File, Save. File, Close. We'll go back out to Scheduling. Over to Actions. 
import project to do's from Excel. Click choose file and select the file you just created. And click open. Note that all nine items imported. We'll go back to scheduling. So we have a list now of all project to do's. Those project to do's assigned to me individually and those project to do's assigned to my company. Next, we'll go over to the calendar view. And we can start to see these things populate. This calendar shows only the existing project. If you want to see this type of information across all projects, use the calendar under the alerts and calendar icon here at the top. Next, let's take a look at the Kanban view. Note that the items are color coded based on their priority and the customized categories set up in global settings are all shown here as well. You can also add new project to do's right from this view. Back to scheduling. One last way to add project to do's is to copy from an existing to do. So we'll go to actions, copy project to do. In this case, we can select to do's from a separate project. We'll just choose a few of these and give it a new due date. Notice that the project that I was just working on is going to show up here under project and click copy. You could do that multiple times for multiple projects, copying in the items you need. Once you're done, back to the scheduling and review the Kanban view again. If you'd like to know more about the information covered in this training video, we encourage you to go to the knowledge base, to leads and projects, down to scheduling. And if you review the information in the help article under to do's overview, you'll find that information helpful.